What's up everyone, my name is Georgie and this is Drum Ape. In this video I'm going to talk about elastic and inelastic collisions as they refer to drumming. Those are just fancy names for rebound or no rebound. An elastic collision is a collision with little or no loss of kinetic energy, whereas inelastic collision is quite the opposite, you have absorption of kinetic energy, which means less rebound. Basically, the elasticity in a collision is what creates the rebound and tends to perpetuate the motion of the stick. So the more elastic the strike, the more rebound you get, the easier to keep bouncing. Each substance has a different elasticity coefficient, so every surface will give you a different amount of rebound when struck with a drumstick. Some materials, like pillows and soft furniture, are more absorbing, so they will give less rebound. Others, usually thicker and harder surfaces, will give you good and even great amount of rebound. Not surprisingly, drums and drum pads are among these. The top layer of the drum pad is made out of rubber, which has been specifically designed to have high elasticity. The rubber surface makes it easy for the stick to rebound, so it is used for practice as well as building up feel and technique. Whereas the drum head is made out of plastic polymers and is basically a membrane which when struck starts to vibrate in a random and unpredictable way. This is easily observable when slowed down a few thousand times. There are some great videos on this, you should check them out. This randomness and unpredictability of the drum head means that you will not get the same rebound out of a drum as you would from the rubber surface of the drum pad. Every drum reacts differently depending on the size and type of the drum. When you hit the drum, the drum head sinks in during the first milliseconds. Then the air rebounds at the bottom head and rushes back up. We experience this as rebound. The drum sort of kicks you back. Our goal is to learn to conserve as much of this rebound as possible, as this builds up momentum. Once you're able to sustain that momentum for as long as you want to, you would have achieved what is best described as mechanical resonance, similar to the one clocks used to keep time. The stick locks into a repeating series of rebounds and it almost feels like the system is perpetuating itself. You're the one feeding the energy into the system and also providing the structure. The rebound itself is somewhat of a random process, so the stick can be unpredictable. In order to make this transmission of mechanical energy as smooth and predictable as possible, we need a stable and firm point of support called the fulcrum point. To get more elasticity in the strike, we also need a straight path for the stick to rebound into. I will show you how to get a more stable fulcrum point and a better rebound through a series of warm-up and stick control exercises in another series of videos. So that's it for rebound and elastic and inelastic collisions. Thank you for watching Drum Ape. I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you next time.